need an intro for the video. You got to do something as for an intro. You know, for the video. <laughs> it is Monday, it is December 17th, and I have a first look exclusive for all of our clapped out followers. Hint number one. Hint number two. Hint number three. Did you figure it out? It's probably hard to figure it out, but it's the new Brian Tooley Racing Intake Manifold. Honestly, I need a chair. I gotta sit down because it's gonna be a lot of talking and I don't like to stand and talk. It makes my IBS act up. No, 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 no. Cats try to run out in the garage. So the BTR Equalizer 1 Intake Manifold has been a project that's been long awaited, tons of work, tons of man hours, and it's finally coming to a head and these units will start shipping. Uh, this is a clapped out video, but my day job is obviously with Brian Tooley Racing. So I get a lot of questions about BTR specific parts and uh, I'd like to knock some of those questions out in this segment, uh, this first look exclusive rather. If you're wondering who the guy in the intro was, his name is Rick Smith. And uh, Rick has a very storied history. He's been in the industry uh, a few fortnights and he brings a lot to the table. I'm gonna do like a little documentary series that's gonna go right, right here. You're gonna learn all about him. This is Rick Smith. Rick Smith is the product development director at Brian Tooley Racing. But before he was the product development director, he was a guy that took selfies with me in a hotel uh, lobby, I think. Actually, that wasn't before, that was during. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Rick was also the founder and the head designer of a little company called Trick Flow Specialties. Yeah, Trick Flow. That whole company came from this guy with this mustache. Rick is a serious genius. Half the time he talks to me, my eyes glaze over, I go cross-eyed. I don't know what he's talking about. This, that, and the other. The guy is a straight-up genius. Not to mention the fact that he was a mentor to the young Brian Tooley in the 1990s. Thank God above, he ended up underneath the BTR roof. He is the man behind the Equalizer 1 intake manifold. So these intakes, they are poured, cast in the United States. They are finished, machined in the United States. They were designed in the United States. And they will be shipping in the United States starting the end of December. Uh, the first fi finished machine units are off the machine. Rick is a perfectionist, so obviously he's made a few changes. But uh, honestly, this like this unit right here isn't up to snuff to him. It would be perfect for probably 99.9% .9 of the rest of the world. So they're called the Equalizer 1 because they are for cathedral ports, LS1, LS2, LS6. The uh, O-rings, the injector O-rings will be LS1. There's a few options for map sensors. You have two options back here, if I can hold it. There's one that's drilled all the way through, and then you can drill this one the rest of the way if you want to put your map sensor lower. There are two different diameters for either LS3 or LS1 size, and you also have your 3 8 I believe, for your brake booster. And then you have one more map sensor location up here that you can drill out and bolt like an LS3 style map sensor to the front, which is awesome. Pop out the stainless, let me get that out of the way. Allen head bolts out of the lid, and we can pull this lid off, and you can see inside. Ooh, looky, looky. Now, here's the God honest truth. The inside of this intake manifold, I swear to God, Rick Smith would come in every single day, three hours early, fill it with aluminum, weld and weld and weld, grind and grind and grind by hand, probably 30 different iterations of the inside of this intake manifold until he was satisfied with the final product. The man's a machine, he's like T-1000, but with a really nice mustache. These are all very much porter friendly. So if you're doing a port match to your cylinder heads, super easy to get in there and work. Everything is a nice round profile. Uh, this plug in the back is just a casting plug. It has no effect whatsoever on the intake. That is just a casting plug. Um, but obviously all aluminum construction, all cast, two piece, and uh, inlaid O-ring, super, super easy to assemble. And they're just, man, they're, they fit, they're low profile, and they're just cool little units. Now the intake manifold was designed 
The intake, the intake manifold was designed uh, with a couple things in mind. This intake is supposed to operate at high RPM. Okay, this isn't gonna be your 1,000 to 4,000 RPM intake. This is a 4,500, 5,000 plus RPM intake. If you have an automatic race car and you launch, and for any reason you're spending a lot of time around 2,500 RPM, you need to fix your torque converter anyway. You gotta go back to the drawing board. This is a high RPM, big Q, boosted situation we got on our hands. The main goal with the intake manifold was like a low profile cast solution for the, the big cube NA guys that want to rev it really, really high or your boosted applications that need equal cylinder distribution. Just give an option that's extremely well cost, that uh, well cost, well cost. It's a well cost option. Well priced, not well cost. Well priced intake manifold for a cast low profile two piece unit, easy to port, <laughs> cathedral ports that, oh, the LS3 ports, they're coming too. I know Rick sent me an email the other day about how he's working on them. The guy's nonstop, so I don't think it'll be crazy, crazy long before those come out, but I don't have an ETA. But it is a all-in-one solution to uh, to some market needs that have been expressed over the last couple years. So super excited to see these start rolling out. Another thing that I'm excited about is teaming up with our friends at Nitrous Outlet. Oh, would you look at it? Would you just look at it? This was on display at PRI. It is a billet spacer for the intake. Let me see if I can one hand it. All right, they're not obviously bolted up, but it's a billet spacer. You got your, your feeds in the rear. It's a spray bar, obviously. Directed directly at the ports. And that thing is sick. I'm really excited about that piece. Dave uh, and the Nitrous Outlet crew, they're awesome to work with. So if you haven't already, go over there, like their page, subscribe to their YouTube. I don't know if they have a YouTube, but subscribe if they do. So shout out to Nitrous Outlet one more time for that. That was a cool piece to have ready, and I was stoked to see that in the booth this year. And that's uh, that's kind of all I got planned. It's not really, it's not a really crazy episode today. And I'm honestly in a t-shirt, and it's 32 degrees in my garage, so I'm going to go inside. Everybody have a blessed day, except Rye. Other than Rye, everybody else... Everyone other than Rye, have a good day. Ah! Ah! It's a karma train. Stopped at my station.